Hey guys, so my name is Vera and I wanted to make a tag so you guys get to know me. It's an about me tag. So let's get started. First question, do you have a middle name? Yes, I have a middle name. My middle name is Vladimirovna. Um, it's Russian. I was born in Russia. I wasn't born in the States. And if you have any relatives or friends from Russia, you would know that the middle name that they have is a little bit different because you get it from your father and like there's an ending it's kind of complicated I don't know why that's just just part of culture you know my mom didn't pick my middle name you just have to kind of go with the flow there uh, favorite subject in school so I'm in college and college university some people say university um, and it's really hard to pick a subject because you take classes that are in your major or minor or both um, obviously both and you take one level, like say you take accounting, and then you take accounting, like financial accounting, managerial accounting, there's different levels, so you can't pick one, sub like English, you don't take English, I mean if you're an English major, you take English every year, but it's not like the same thing over and over again, there are different levels of classes, and um, so I can't pick one, I'm going to tell you what was my favorite subject, my favorite class that I took was history and it was race and ethnicity in the United States and it was so 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 interesting I had a really cool professor and um, he made it really interesting and he explained things very well gave great examples and you you know you just felt comfortable talking to him after class and if you had any questions in class you could talk to him and he would help you and it was really cool and the class itself was really cool um, next sorry my nose is a little bit cheap Next question, um, your favorite drink? Um, well, since I'm not 21, I can't pick an alcoholic beverage. So my favorite drink would probably be um, either water, it's so boring, and I drink it all the time, but it's good for you, or an Arnold Palmer. Um, that's like the fancy drink that I order when I go out to dinner or lunch or something. But yeah, those two. Next question is, what's your favorite song of the moment? Um... I don't, I don't know, I don't have a favorite song at the moment, I kind of listen to what's new on the radio where I like at a certain time, um, it always changes, but my favorite song of all time is Don't Stop Believing by Journey, it's so old, but I love it, and you should guys, you should, if you guys don't know the song, you should listen to it, it's awesome. What would you name your kids? Um, I really, really like the name Micah. For a boy, I think it's really cute and adorable, and it's really unique too. Not a lot of people have that name. It's not like John. I would never name my kids something like Ben or John or Stephen. Something very popular. I don't know why I'm only naming boy names. I guess I want a boy. I would name my my kids something unique. Like my name is Vera. It's it's different. I mean, sometimes when you say it to people, they're like, what? What is it? But but it's really unique, so I really like that. So I would name my kid something unique. Next question. Do you participate in any sports? Now that I'm in college, no, I don't participate in any sports. Colleges usually have competitive sports, so you have to be really, really, really good to be on the team. Or just good. And I'm not just good. Uh, in high school, I played sports, and in middle school, they played sports, too. Colleges usually have competitive sports. So you have to be really, really, really good to be on the team. Or just good. And I'm not just good. Uh, in high school, I played sports. And in middle school, they played sports too. Next question. Your favorite book? Uh, my favorite book is The Kite Runner. I think it's an amazing book. Um, don't watch the movie. The movie's terrible. Terrible compared to the book. Um, it's really, really interesting. It just shows you a perspective on a life that people have or had and it makes you think about things that you have and appreciate like the things that you have much more. I think anybody and everybody should read it because it, it teaches you the way, it teaches you different things. It kind of opens up your eyes more. You see a different perspective on things. Um, so I think, I think it's a really, really good book. Um, right now I'm actually reading the book, it's called Into the Wild, and I usually don't read that those kinds of books, but, but it's really, really interesting, and I, I really like it too. Next question. 
Favorite color. Um, I'm gonna pick three because you can't just pick one. My favorite color is blue, green, and pink. I don't know why. I just like those colors. I, I, I don't discriminate any other colors. I like all the colors in the rainbow. Um, I used to hate the color black, but now I actually like the color black. I guess it's not a color. It's like a, t a shade or a tone. Something like that. Next question. Favorite animal. I don't know how to pick one. If it's like an animal... I really like cats. You have to understand cats. Cats come to you, you know? If they want to, like, cuddle, if they want to be, like, you know, hanging out with you, they're going to come to you. You don't come to the cat. And and that's really cool, I think, because when the cat wants attention, they let you know. A dog wants attention all the time. I mean, I love dogs, don't get me wrong, but, you know, sometimes you want your space, so the cat will give you your space. Next question is favorite perfume. Marc Jacobs. Daisy, oh, so fresh. I love that stuff. It's so good. So good, so good. I can, like, just spray it all the time. Uh, favorite holiday? Um, I guess Christmas, because you just get into the spirit of Christmas and you prepare for Christmas. The thing about Christmas, let's just talk about this real quick. You prepare for like two months so after things after halloween people like bring out their christmas decorations you prepare for christmas and like gather your family and friends and then it's over it's over in one day like it just that pisses me off like you know you just spend so much time and effort buying presents and preparing everything so everything looks good your house has to look good and clean your outside of your house you have to look good every you know food has to be cooked and ready and be presentable and then people eat Christmas Eve open pre pre presents presents can't talk open presents Christmas morning and then it's over like that's so sad to me but I guess presents and the Christmas dinner is not what it's about it's about the spirit so that was a really long explanation for why I like Christmas next question have you graduated high school Yes, I graduated high school. I actually can't believe that I graduated high school two years ago now. It's really weird. Once you leave high school, it's a whole new world, a whole better world. I know high school wasn't um, the greatest experience for me. I think there's better and bigger things out there than high school. If you have a good high school experience, you know, that's really good, good for you. I'm glad. But I know a lot of people don't like high school and don't don't make the good friends or don't just don't like it um, I didn't love it let's just say that um, have you ever been out of the country if so how many times I lived in Russia for 10 years of my life because I wasn't born here so I think that's a it's a big deal yeah so I, I was in another country for a long time and then I went to Mexico I feel like everybody goes to Mexico so that's kind of boring it's like kind of can't like Canada I'm being so mean no I shouldn't say that. I actually want to go to, like, Canada. I think that's really cool. Like, Vancouver or something like that. Um, or or even maybe Toronto. But I don't know. But it's really cold, and I don't like the cold. But I think for a little vacation, um, that would be really cool. Um, but those were the countries that I've been to. Do you speak any other languages? Yes. I speak in English. <laughs> On good days that I can talk. Um, Russian. And Spanish, I, I'm like 95%. There's always room for improvement there. You know, that 5% is just it's just there. How many siblings do you have? I don't have any siblings. I'm the only child. It's very, very lonely. But you get attention, let me tell you. <laughs> what is your favorite store? I don't like that question. I'm sorry. What kind of store do you mean? Like, do my favorite clothing store, my favorite food store, my favorite jewelry store? I don't know. I like a lot of things. I like Nordstrom's because you can get everything in one place. You want to get makeup? You go to the makeup counter. You need to get a bracelet? It's right next to it. You need to get sunglasses? You know, it's all in the same area. Especially, I like Nordstrom's because they have very good looking men selling their sh the women's shoes. That, whoever came up with that, you're a genius. Women will buy shoes just because the guy that's selling them is freaking good looking. So, ladies, it's all a trick. You just go there to look at the guy, and the guy's like, do you want to try on a pair of shoes? How can you say no? Of course I'll try on a pair of shoes. 
Do you want to try on the sneakers? Yeah, I don't even need sneakers. I'll just try them on and buy them. Just because you, you want to make the guy happy. And who doesn't like a, a guy in a suit? I don't know who. But if you don't, don't go to Nordstrom's. Huh? But I just like Nordstrom's. It's, it's a good store. Favorite restaurant? <sighs> Damn. I don't have one. I have a lot. I, I, I like different kinds of foods. So I can't pick one restaurant that satisfied all my needs because I like Japanese food, I like Italian food, I like Russian food, I like a hamburger, so I like a lot of things. Favorite movie? My favorite movie is the Titanic. You can judge me as much as you want. I think it's a very beautiful love story and I'm a sucker for that and I cry every time. And I think I watched the movie like 20 times or more. And I cry every single time. <sighs> so sad. Favorite YouTuber? Did I skip one? Yeah, favorite YouTuber. Um, I can't pick one. I'm gonna say Fleur from Fleur de Force is one of my favorite YouTubers. She is just amazing. Her voice is very, very nice. I love listening to her. Anything she says about makeup, skincare, or anything. I just I just listen to her. She knows what she's talking about. You, you go, girl. And that's um, she has a makeup channel and a vlog channel, so I watch both. And then another makeup channel that I really like is Viviana Does Makeup. Oh, I think that's her channel's name. Yeah, Viviana Does Makeup. Um, isn't that, I think her name is Anna, though. Oh, my God. I don't even... She's amazing. She's amazing. Her voice is so calming. You can just sit there and watch her for hours because she's like, she knows what she's talking about. What I like about her is that she she's about quality and not quantity. So she'll pick a great product, but it's probably like a lot of money um, versus picking like five crappy ones. I also like a Russian YouTuber. Her name is Sonia and her channel's name is Classes Internal, I believe. It's really, really good, um, but if you can't um, understand Russian, you'll have a hard time watching the channel. <laughs> Next question. Favorite TV show? Right now, at the moment, I really like Vampire Diaries and Revenge. I think Vampire Diaries is really fun and interesting, and there's always something new in that show that's happening every other two minutes. It gets you hooked on. And the people in that show, like, how do you get a cast that's so good-looking in, like, one show? Props to the cast person, who cast manager, whoever casts you, did an amazing job. Mac or PC? Mac. A hundred percent. I'm an Apple kind of girl. Everything Apple. I'm there. Um, what kind of phone do you have? An iPhone, of course. And last question, how tall are you? I'm five. Four. I was actually 5'3", and then my doctor said that I'm not going to grow anymore. Well, the year after I came for my physical, it was 5'4", and she's like, oh, you're 5'4". I'm like, right, and you said I was not going to grow, and she was like, and she didn't know what to say. So, when a doctor tells you you can't grow, they're lying, because you can grow, and you can shrink, and I'm 5'4 now. So, thank you for watching, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make more videos and maybe every week. Um, if you guys have any requests, just comment down below. This is going to be a channel about advice, beauty, because I'm so into makeup, like clothing, kind of everything together. I don't want to specifically focus on one group that is makeup or skincare. You know, I like everything together, like books, you know, anything that I like, you guys will probably see. Um, I've always wanted to do this, like YouTube was one of the things that I actually like kept on saying, oh, let's make a video, let's make a video, and then I just never got the chance, or just never got to it, you always, you know, life gets in the way, but I think that I have to start, and I will do it, um, actually my best friend has a video channel too, a video channel, a YouTube channel, um, she is a singer, so she has a, a singing channel, yeah, I think that's what it's called. She's going to kill me if I mess it up. Um, but I'm going to link her uh, below and then go check it out. She makes new covers every once and she's really good. Um, so check her out. She's, she's awesome. Okay, guys. See you next time.